how to express P in terms of Q given the composite function fgx. In this video, I will show you step by step on how to solve this type of question and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you would like to improve in your MS skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at the first question. For question 1, given the functions gx is equal to 5px minus 1, kx is equal to 4x plus 1, gkx is equal to 2 bracket 10px plus q. Express p in terms of q. So, firstly, we write down the functions given. So, gx is equal to 5px minus 1 and kx equals to 4x plus 1. Okay? So next, we, make, we try to make our own version of g, kx. And then later, we compare with the g, kx given in the question. So for this, so g will be outside. So kx is 4x plus 1. Okay, so we bring this down. Okay, so g 4x plus 1. Let's look at function g. When it's x inside the bracket, here will be x. If it's y inside the bracket, here will be y. So if it's 4x plus 1 inside the bracket, okay, here will be 4x plus 1. So I'm going to substitute 4x plus 1 into here. So 5p 4x plus 1 minus 1 okay and then let's look back at the question it's given that gkx is 2 bracket 10px plus q so i'm going to substitute this into here so that we can compare the left side and the right side 10px plus q so equals to so i'm going to expand this to so become 20px plus 5p minus 1. Then I'm going to expand the left hand side as well. So become 20px plus 2q. And I bring this down 20px plus 5p minus 1. So let's compare and see what's the difference. So the difference is this and this. Okay? So I'm going to bring this down. So become 2q equals to 5p minus 1. And the question is asking us to express P in terms of Q, which means that P must be on the left-hand side as a subject. Okay, so okay, we want to get P, so we have to shift negative 1 over to the left-hand side. So become 2Q plus 1 equals to 5P. And to get P, you have to shift the 5 over to the left-hand side. So become 2Q plus 1 over 5 equals to P. And for the final answer, we just swap this around, okay? So that our P will be on the left-hand side. So P is equals to 2Q plus 1 over 5. So this is the answer. For question 2, given the functions fx is equal to negative 3px plus 1, gx is equal to 3x minus 4, and fgx is equal to negative 9px plus 3q. So express p in terms of q. So firstly, we write down the two functions given, which are fx and gx. So fx is equal to negative 3px plus 1, and gx is equal to 3x minus 4. Okay? Next, we derive our own fgx, and then later we compare with the fgx given in the question. So we have so 3x minus 4. So, okay, when it's 3x minus 4 inside the bracket, okay, we substitute it into here and we'll get negative 3p, 3x minus 4. And then plus 1, okay? And then for here, we substitute this given function of fgx into here. 
Then later we can compare the left hand side and the right hand side. Okay, so negative 9px plus 3q. Okay, so next we expand this bracket and we bring this down. So negative 9px plus 3q equals to negative 9px plus 12p plus 1. And then we compare both sides, okay? And we see the difference. Difference is here and here, okay? So we bring these two down, so become 3q equals to 12p plus 1, okay? And the question is asking us to express p in terms of q. It means that p must be on the left-hand side as a subject. Okay, so positive 1, we shift this over, so it'll be 3q minus 1 equals to 12p. So to find p, we shift the 12 over, become 3q minus 1, whole thing over 12, okay? So because we want our p to be on the left-hand side as a subject, we swap this around. So therefore, p is equals to 3q minus 1 over 12. So this is the answer. For question 3, given the functions mx is equal to ax minus 5, nx is equal to 7 minus 3x, mnx is equal to negative 3ax minus 4b, express b in terms of a. So first of all, we write down the two functions given, which are mx, ax minus 5, and nx is equal to 7 minus 3x. Okay, next we derive our own m and x and then later we compare with the m and x given in the question so equals to m and nx is 7 minus 3x next we substitute this into function m okay which is a bracket 7 minus 3x minus 5 okay and then we put this into here so negative 3 ax minus 4b Okay, next we bring this down and we expand this bracket. So negative 3ax minus 4b equals to 7a minus 3ax minus 5. And then we see what are the difference. Okay, so the difference are okay, here will be negative 4b and here 7a minus 5. Okay, and they want us to express our answer b in terms of a, which means b must be the subject on the left. So it will be b equals to 7a minus 5 over negative 4 okay normally our answers are we have to bring up the negative sign to the numerator so b b equals to negative 7a minus 5 over 4 okay and then we have to solve this so be negative 7a plus 5 over 4 and our final answer Okay, we have to start our term with positive. So 5 minus 7a over 4. Okay, so this is the final answer. Well, that's all for now. Do you understand what you have learned from this video today? Let me know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys will keep on learning, keep on practicing and keep on watching my videos and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!